In this video, I'm going to show you how to assign some colors to your model in Blender. So, first off, you want to start off by going to the top here. And most likely, it might start in Blender Render for you. Make sure to change this to Cycles Render. It's a newer rendering engine that Blender has, and it works a lot more smooth. And then, I have this plane up here. The reason why some of this stuff gets cut off like that is because this is actually quite big for Blender, especially. So, that's why sometimes it gets a little weird. So, this plane that I just put up right here is my emission plane. So over here in your material settings, I click, it was on diffuse BSDF. This is what it looked like. I changed the surface to emission. And then I kept the strength at one. So now it's actually a light source. And then in the object settings, I scrolled all the way down to the bottom here. And in cycle settings, I unchecked camera. I uncheck camera and then go into my rendered viewport you won't see it so if I check camera you can see the plane as you're in the rendered viewport if I uncheck it it disappears but it still produces light so there's a few more things I need to add color to what you're going to do is we can go back into solid view here and we'll move the plane aside so we can access some of these things this front panel here I'm gonna go to material settings which is that little ball with the like checkered pattern on it. And in the color, we're going to change it to the color that we want. You can click and drag this, or on these, you can adjust it how you want. And I think, I remember I want none of that, and we'll take this down a little bit here. It's about right there. And then if we go into our rendered, you can see that's purple. And then I'll change that to a similar color. This is around 800, this is around 230, and that's zero. And then that's purple. They don't have to match perfectly. And then I'll take the plane, drag it back over so we have even light. Now when you look at that, those two panels are colored. Now to make these panels look kind of like aluminum, we'll be making these out of aluminum, I added a glossy surface to these and I, I ha added roughness. So yeah, if I take away the roughness, it is a perfect mirror. You can see how it mirrors everything because it's a perfect gloss finish. And aluminum is a little bit reflective. So what I did was I bumped the roughness up just a little bit so you can kind of still see a reflection, but not too much. So right now it's at 0.175. And you can tell you can still see some of the reflection of the wheel and it looks like it's still a glossy surface. And that looks pretty realistic. So from here, you know, you can position, just kind of get a good view of your robot. And this really looks cool with all the colors. So hopefully this works for what you're doing. And if it did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.